manners and respect family. Go ahead and mark yourself present by hitting the like button. Family, who do we have here? We have the Minister of National Security, Mr. Horace Chang. And we also have the Police Commissioner, Mr. Anthony Anderson. People with any business, any job, any organization, any failure, you are going to get rid of the top CEO, bosses, managers. They are the first to go. If your numbers dip, if you are the CEO of a job, a manager, your job is to keep up a certain numbers. Whatever numbers, to be money, whatever number it is, customers. And you are not keeping your end of the bargain, you are out. The first person to go is the CEO. But look here, people, we are not talking about numbers here, money here, or some clientele here. We are talking about lives. Lives been lost in Jamaica. And it seems as if the Prime Minister cannot remove these men and try someone else. Tell me about it. Think about it. You want to tell me that the Prime Minister cannot reach into his toolbox and pull out a sharper tool, a better tool to deal with our crime problem? Tell me oh, what kind of recommendation these men been giving the Prime Minister all these years. People, has any of these recommendations worked so far? The only recommendation coming from these men are SOEs, SOEs, state of emergency, and more SOEs and Zozos, which is not working. Our crime problem is off the hook, people. Criminals are getting more brazen. Why don't you remove these men? Get somebody who might have a different mind, a different way of lowering the crime in Jamaica. What is the problem with these two men that why they cannot be removed? What, what is going on here? Can't the Prime Minister discipline nobody, remove anybody at all? I'm yet to see, I'm yet to see the Prime Minister really discipline anybody. Remove anybody from any spot that they really don't fit. These men don't fit the spot they are in. Another situation we have here, the Minister of National Security cannot be a vote-begging, vote-soliciting politician. He must have to go around and beg vote to keep his seat. We are wrong. PNP did it wrong. The JLP are doing it wrong. Our Minister of National Security should be an independent person, people nominated by the Prime Minister and vetted by the House or the Senate and make sure that person is clean, then you get the job. Your job is to come to work every day to sit in the office and to secure our nation. Your job is to secure our nation. Nothing else, not to drive around come election time seeking votes and if people in your constituency are major criminals, you cannot do nothing to them because you need their vote. So we constantly put in our Minister of National Security in this predicament. Under the PNP and now under the JLP. Things need to change. The structure of which we do things need to change. This man is not going to snitch on the rest of the JLP body. He's the Minister of National Security. If he find dirt, he's not going to snitch. It's just common sense. And if it's the PNP in power, the same thing. The Minister of National, National Security is not going to snitch on his own party and bring down his own party and give people thing, things to say. So therefore, we are not fighting crime well in Jamaica. These men right here cannot be removed. Look how bad they are performing. The worst performance ever. The most crime ever under these two men right here. And the Prime Minister can't seem to find it in his heart to move them around, find somebody else. I really believe that it's because these two men remain in this seat right here while we have the UN, United States slap the first travel advisory on the nation because it was the day after the so-called cabinet reshuffle when these two men were still sitting there and weren't removed, the US slapped the first travel advisory on our country the day after, right? So look, we see these men still sitting in the spot. We have two more travel advisory since and Canada come with two and the U.S. have three. So, I mean, what, what is going on? Are we trying to destroy Jamaica? Why can't these men be removed? Any CEO of any company, if you are not performing, if your numbers are not up, you are removed, you are gone. Why can't the Prime Minister find this man here, Oris Chang, a doctor? Your job is to save lives. You have no security training, no, nowhere from nowhere. Eh? Mr. Um, Anthony Anderson was a military man. But Mr. Prime Minister chose to clear everybody else, go over everybody. 
you know, and catapult Mr. Anderson into the spot that he is. We also understand that he was also, you know, uh, uh, his advisor. You know, and closer than that, Rose on the street is alleged that he is also, he's also his cousin. I don't know about any truth to that, but that's what the street been saying for a longer time. So I don't know what's going on here, why these men can't be removed. Mr. Um, Anderson here, he's getting $18 million a year for doing absolutely nothing. This man is earning $18 million of our Jamaican dollars to do nothing. Just to sit and watch crime escalate. Eh? Watch life last. And Andrew Onis, who is our Prime Minister, don't seem fit in his heart to remove these men try something else try do something for the country try something trying something is not doing the same thing and expect different result trying something is not trying the same thing and expect different result every year these two men and it seems as if the prime minister cannot remove these men we don't know what kind of secret these men have and the Prime Minister, we don't know who is running things, who is running the country, who is the boss, who is calling the shots. Who is calling the shots? Because it seems as if like our Prime Minister cannot discipline no one. Nobody can be disciplined. Anybody do anything, he calls them in his office. They sat in a naughty corner. A few moments later, they see them pop up in another corner somewhere else, in another office, like somebody is stupid. My people, think about what I'm saying. Any job failure any business organization there's a failure association where there's a failure the top is cut off people the top is cut off if you have problem at your restaurant people and the constant continuous is the manager the top the ceo same thing with the hotel people i'm talking about service industry right here it comes from the top the fish rot from the head the problem is right here our crime problem you're looking at right here in one picture right here these men who fail to perform the job right here right here people feel you feel you feel you if you should grade these men people what grade would you give these men give me an honest grade people put politics aside i don't care because it was wrong to have our Minister of National Security a vote-begging politician under the PNP and it's wrong under the Labour right. So give me an honest opinion, my people. Grade these men job performance in the comment section. Tell me why the Prime Minister cannot remove these men. Nobody's saying get PNP. Just get another Labour right. Get somebody else who can do the job with a different mind. Seven different brothers, seven different mind. Oh, you know you're not going to get somebody else who can do it better. Come on, Jamaica. Something have to give. You can't have the same men and expect different results. All you're going to get is SOEs and Zozos. That's all we're going to get in Jamaica. You cannot have these two men and expect different results, Jamaica. Come on, use your head. We are stupid or what? Then it all come back to the question. Why these men cannot be removed? It's clear. They are not performing. They are underperforming. They are of underperforming people. This is a big question. Why these men cannot be removed? Who is running the show? Who is running the country? Nobody in Jamaica really care about these men, people. The favorability is very, people, nobody like these men. 90 something percent of Jamaica don't trust these men, people. Now have no confidence in, men, in these men, people. 90 something percent of the Prime Minister know that. He saw that almost all of Jamaica is um, do not support these men in in, this, in in the capacity that they are in. Almost all of Jamaica have no confidence in our top crime fighters. Almost all of Jamaica have no confidence in these two men, and I don't see why the prime minister can't see that. I don't know. See, I don't. See, I don't see why. The Prime Minister cannot see it fit in his heart to remove these men. Try somebody else. For Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. For the lives of Jamaicans. For the people. Do you put these men over the lives that have been lost? Do you put friends and cronies over the lives of Jamaican people? Huh? Is it patriotic to have your friends there and 
feel to remove them because you know, they are just your cronies and lives is just people just dropping right around us. We're not even trying nothing else. Try a different tool in your box, Mr. Prime Minister. Please try a different tool in the box. Nobody can say nothing bad about you trying. You are trying. If I see you get these guys, just move these guys around, you will be trying. I'll be seeing you trying every tool in your toolbox to bring some normalcy to Jamaica, to bring down crime in Jamaica. Look at what happened in Portmore yesterday. Look at the blood in our country. Look all around Jamaica. It was bloody. It was bloody, Mr. Prime Minister. It was bloody. Try a different tool on behalf of all the lives that have been lost in my country. All the young men that have been dropping out. Soon and later, we don't have no men in our country. On behalf of the lives in Jamaica, Mr. Andrew Ones. On behalf of the people, on behalf of the citizens of Jamaica. Try a different tool. Remove these men. Country over friend. Country over crony. Be a patriot. Let me see how patriotic you are. Remove these men. They are highly incompetent. They are not performing. Their favorability rate among Jamaicans very bad almost all Jamaicans have no faith in these men no confidence remove these men please so my family members you tell me in your own words how you feel about crime in Jamaica should the Prime Minister try somebody else why can't you remove these guys and family as usual I'm a student in your guys class make sure your comments make sense in every sentence Thank you for tuning in. If you're brand new on here, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell. So when I hit these new videos, when I throw them out there, I come on live. You guys don't miss anything. Manners and respect, guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace.